All right, so this is taking the worms out of the water, really. It originally called Down to Earth, um, and then moved to the Wrigglers. It was sort of combining the underwater and the and the and the land-based worm strip. So the Wrigglers is a great way to be able to just observe, um, but I found that actually it was really good fun writing gardening based strips. I have a very small garden, in fact to be honest there's no grass in my garden, it's like a courtyard and uh, but there's a few beds in there and uh, and a few flowers and I kind of started writing strips around what was going on so when flowers were coming out it was a bit more seasonal uh, but this is, uh, this is a strip uh, based on a lawn. This was one of the first strips I wrote for um, down to earth, which is now the Wrigglers. I think one of the interesting things different between what is above the land and, and below the water line is that below the water is quite murky and dark, and you know you can, you can it's quite a sort of rays of light coming through the water and a bit of weed and perhaps a uh, perhaps a fish floating in the background. But in the garden, there's there's a huge amount of detail that you can add to these. Um, so this is just putting a little bit of a uh, kind of a background. This is just putting a little bit of a, a flower bed and a tree and a bit of a skyline in it.
variations on the colour themes. I think. saturated colours are more, more pleasant to look at um, but equally I think this could work as a black and white line drawing uh, it would be interesting to know uh, what you think thanks very much <laughs>